Well, welcome back to another video. So, it's Easter weekend this weekend and we have ventured north up to our, one of our favorite places, 1770. So we've just got here today. We've sort of set up camp and put the boat in. It is looking absolutely terrible offshore. Um, I think it's like up, blown up to 20 knots this weekend. So I don't think we'll get a reef trip in. So we bought the crab pots and we're gonna go give it a go. It's real shallow. Hi, Did you want me to get a pot ready? Yeah, I might get all of them ready. Cool. I'll go for a burn up there. It's one of the about 1500 because the tide's going to come up and freeze a little. Good drop off here. Yeah. Right out doors. Send him. Send him. That was much more nicer than the last one, Dad. Yeah. It's like real shallow just there. It's coming up real quick, Dib. Lots of bait in there, isn't there? Oh yeah, chuck them in there. Okay. See that? It's sitting there? Just sitting right there. Like it's so it's facing the wrong way again. You want it running up and down with the river? put about seven pots out but there's like a million other floats hanging around so and so many tinnies getting around town so I'm sure we might lose a pot this weekend or not get a crab or everyone will be just bloody farming our pots but hopefully we get something we're going to come out in the morning and check it I think high tides around 10 30 so should be good the kids are just now having a cast net off the jetty 
I've got a couple of little prawns. But um, did you notice what I'm wearing? Nice little new shirt. Um, I'll put the link down below to our website. But um, we've got a couple of just, um, just simple shirt designs. Um, there's a cute little one for the kids, the girls and the, and the boys. So hopefully you guys like them and um, pick yourself up one. Thanks for supporting us. Got a couple of prawns in there. Oh, good calf dibs. I like them. <laughs> stand in motion. I'm probably, I've got a cast um, two times in a row. I got my first cast. Did you? Nice. Yeah. Wait, no. What, Does it second... feel like you've got anything? It always at the top of them, no, there's something in there. It's really just at the top. If I can have oh, any of You don't really have a prawning net to... You need one of those ones that suck it up into the top. Oh, good job. It's hard with those big heavy ones. It's not really heavy. Isn't it? Oh, you got a couple of little... Some trevs. I do? Yeah, a little trevor. It's a little I baby. It's the same one. What is it? I don't think it's Stir Valley. It's like a... Ow! Mom, the fishing line! I don't know. Like a fucking... Mom, yeah. Dying room. Silver Mom, that's... <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe oh, you just caught that in the net. Look at its big... And it has I... a little friend. I thought it was a sea mother. Mm, they call them bindy brim. Fucking ah! silver bitty. Fucking... Yeah, let me... Let him stop. You got it? Can we keep him? No, no we're not no. keeping him. And you it's can't eat him. No. <laughs> put him put, back. Put him back. Put him in. The no, put him back. You've ever seen. Hurry up! Pull his face off. That's how they eat. <laughs> Can I take a photo? I've got it on video, darling. No, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, hold it up for me. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Smile. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Okay. Alright, so we've let the pot soak overnight. The tide's a bit fuller this morning. Um, it's high tide in about three hours. So we'll go check and hopefully we get something. A lot of crap in it and a fish. Oh, it's heaps cleaner out here, isn't it? Four cobs. Do you want to bring him in? Do you want to keep it in and move it up further? Oh, whoa, what is that? Catfish. Eight, and it ate in sandy. sandy. Oh, baby. No, we can't really keep it. It's a bit gross. You don't, when they're it, dead and they're sitting in the water like that, they go wrong. Yeah. He would have been bloody legal, though. Look at that. Poor little. And it's a male. Right, it is. All right, lucky last. Get 
guess there's something in there. Um, fifth. Oh, look at that little baby crab. <laughs> That's a baby, baby. That's a small. Little baby. It was a hungry little one, wasn't it? <laughs> little whopper. Little crabby. Good, um. Good bait. Good bait for blueies, hey. Dad, he's acting dead. Sideways, long ways with the river. Let me get your rope. Right now. Yeah, now. Okay. Alright, now. It's pretty shallow. That's on the bottom. Right here. Go now. Come on, you see you use those muscles. You better be struggling because it's full of crabs. <laughs> you got it? Empty! Right, Bloody hell. real nice this arv. We've just anchored up down the end there and cooked up a feed for lunch. Now we're just going to try and find somewhere to get out of this wind and maybe throw a line in. Alright so we're going to go check the pots again the next day. Look at our mate. Maddie, he threw some pots out last night. Fucking loaded! <laughs> Oh, he's got a couple. Sandy's. Little fellas. Are they legal? Come on, Bibby. At least your pot's still here. Oh, bloody caddy. Holy f***, he did. I have a catfish pod. You have a catfish pod. Hopefully no catfish. Just a... Bait's gone. Mullet. We didn't have mullet in there. We did not have mullet in there. Someone <laughs> check my pot there. Oh! Fuck all. At least there's some muddies. Jenny's for days. Is it all Jenny's? All Jenny's? Yeah. Bloody... No nipper. No nippers. No. Well, you can grab that one, Gorbs. Dad, this covers no nippers. Still got bait in it, that's annoying. Ugh. Little bloody gold spot again. Alright, second last pot. Come on. It's gotta be something. All this effort. Eddie, Eddie. Stedman, Edmund. Oh, Sandy. Something big in there. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, a couple Who's of Sandies. Sandy? Yes! Two sandboxes! Finally! Whoa, Dad, what? this one's really blue. Show us, hold them up for me. Fisher? <laughs> yeah, alright. Sandy? He's well legal. He's definitely legal. This one? He 
You'd be just. I'm yep. Stuck. Uh, he's stuck. He's legal. Dad, both legal. Mum. It's only taken us how many times? Check these pots. What? This is the third time. So seven pots. Twenty bloody one times to finally get a crab. We got one more. Cotton and muddy. Oh, I don't know. He looks a bit little. Why don't you tip him out? He's gonna flip up and get him. Get ya. We've, decided, we've given up on crabbing out of the boat because of how many pots there are. So we just come down this little football drive track um, to a little spot where we know we can throw some pots out in the river. Ooh, there's a lot of water coming out, isn't there? As long as it's up high. Like that. Yeah. Who's gonna see that? 
Hopefully no one. Oh good. Yeah. Right there? Yeah, that looks good. All the tags. Hope not. So once you get to the end of this little track, there's a little dirt boat ramp. So we're going to try and throw some pots out here. Ugh. It's slippery, Dad. There's no crocs. There's no crocodiles. Look at all those soldier crabs. Dad, what are we doing? We got a little crab trap in. Okay, we're going to go. I'm going to go Okay. I normally go further. Okay. Good one today. <laughs> it's really bushy, Dad. Mm. Yeah. I've seen only one mud skipper, Dad. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen any. Mm. Another bomb. Do you reckon I'll see that? Um. No. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. Gonna lure us. <laughs> Is that all the pots? That's it, mate. Okay. Alright, so we've got the four pots out now. We're just gonna make our way back to our camp, and the boys will come out in the morning and check them. Bring him over here a little bit, if you want it. I'll, I'll just get him out and come over. Not really. a crab measure of dogs. <laughs> 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 we didn't talk about that last night with a few beers. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to see they still exist up here. Yeah. Ooh. It's almost almost a broken plugger. <laughs> yeah. I'll come in for the action shot. <laughs> no, nah, I don't reckon that's been checked at all. <laughs> Big Jenny. Yep. Big Jensen. She's rusty too. Yeah. I should put the uh, knot at the bottom of it, eh? Pulls out the mud better. Fishing. Little shit. Chuck it back as is. Yeah, yeah fuck it. No yeah. These people reckon they get crabs, I don't know about that. Midgey's biting the belly. Because of me overhang. Don't go in there, Manny. Love <laughs> <That'd be> you. <a laughs> Well, that would be a day fucker. <laughs> oh, prawns. <laughs> prawns are on board. Crab. Another little one. So we've just come 
for a drive out today to the Yurimula National Park. I'm gonna go have a look, take Maddie and Sam up that way. Pretty cool place. This is Yurimula Creek. So we've just driven and parked down there and then you've got the creek running out here. And then you got 1770 headland and camping all up in yeah. here. But it's really cool. It's a little place to throw in the tinny. It has been raining for like nearly a month at home and the sun has finally come out for us on this holiday just before it starts to get a bit cold. We've just got the lark gonna come over this river I think. They're just on the far side there. On the way home <laughs> and he's stuck It's got to go out a little bit, it's like a rock wall there. Don't get cut. You need your big boaties.
About as empty as it gets. <laughs> oh dear. Do you want me to go in there, mate? Yeah, we gotta hold this thing. Is it still on? Yeah. Oh, I haven't stopped. We got four four minutes of action, pure action. Already. Oh. You're about to see some action. <laughs> it's a good walk to here and then just gets muddy just here. Oh yeah. Weight limit. Yeah. Exceeding it. Heavily. When everyone's coming back for that pot or it's just it just what? stays there. That pot. Easy as that, that's how yep. you get mud crabs. That's how you get them all. Yibbity yibbity folks. <laughs> that's all folks. <laughs> Shit. Do a bit of commentary. Clayton has a told you, it's 6.5k walk to where we just got. Mm. Oh. Fitness fanatics. Yeah. Don't want to do too much of the river, because then you'll give this location away. <laughs> So tonight we're going to cook up those sandies that we um, caught during the week. Um, no muddies unfortunately, as you would have seen. So next best thing is chili sand crab. So haven't done it, we've always used a mud crab. So who knows how this is going to turn out. But we love sand crabs and we love chili mud crabs. So sandies. it could work. So the boys have just given these sandies a bit of a clean very simple recipe that I'm going to use tonight is just some oil in the pan I've got the Thai style um, paste some chili paste some minced garlic because I'm cheap and some coconut cream and some salt pepper all right so also Corbin wants just a plain crab so we've got some water boiling next to it for him so let's get going so first thing we're going to just put some oil in the pan we'll get this going oops don't you see it's going no Corbin's is going all right first thing you obviously have to turn it on turn a little bit of olive oil a tiny bit <laughs> just these pans are only our cheap cooking camping pans okay Right, so I'm gonna put all of this in, hey, I think. Look at me. I've lost a little back thing. That's alright. All of it. So just squeeze all of that in. Damn. Alright. And then we're gonna do. Get out the way. The garlic. You can do it. Probably one more for good luck. Who doesn't love a big chunk of garlic? Can I stir now? Yep, you keep stirring. I don't want it to slip me. You're alright. I'm going down with the boys. Yeah, it's going to start sizzling. Alright, just a little bit of chilli. A lot of chilli. No. <laughs> I'm trying to dodge your thing. All right, and then we'll put some coconut cream. Stop me. Just stop stirring. All right, slowly. You don't want to lose it all. Just. I can do that. Can you? Yeah. Just real gentle, because this this pan's on the up, um, tilt a little bit. Dad, 
So I'm just mixing up all the paste with the coconut cream. Like I said, this is our very basic camping recipe. I'm going to turn that down just a bit so it doesn't burn. And we also forgot our wooden spatulas this camping trip, so my egg flipper will do. Alright. So you want to give these a bit of a crack so that all the juices get in. Smush them around so they all are in, and then just try and drizzle a bit of that sauce all over it. That looks so good. And because we don't have a lid for this pot, just going to put this little bit of alpha all over it. Just to keep the heat in. We'll give it about, I know, 10 minutes and um, come back and see how they are. So Corbin's water's boiling now. So he's gonna put his crab in. And the other one. Oh my god, it's Hurry already up, turning it, red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So when it comes, oh it's still boiling. So it's about seven minutes that we cook them for once it starts boiling up again properly. So I'll pop the lid back on. Um, when it starts to boil, then I'll put the timer on. Alright, so that's boiling now. So we'll go seven minutes. Oh, it smells so good. Whoop. These ones are coming along. We're about halfway. I'm just going to turn them over. Alright, so that's timed up for Corby's. So we'll take them out. And we've just made a little salty water slurry here. And that'll stop them to... Um, Cooking. I wanted to put them in it. Sorry, you're taking too long. Yeah. All right, you mix them all up. Okay. Then get them in. Need ice. Yeah. Give me the ice. Yeah. Since we're camping, we're just gonna have a really easy dinner tonight. Can't be bothered with the hey, rice. Why do you say mud crabs? No, no, I know no, they're no. sand crabs. They're not sand crabs. They're sandies. Sandies. Blue swimmer. Blue swimmer. If you're in New South Wales, sandy because we're Queenslanders. All right. Let's dish it. Dish oh this God. up. Oh God! I made you. Do you want two, mm -hmm. love? No, I got one. Right, yeah. Two. Are you get my session. There you go. No, I should here at one, Lenny. Letty? What? what? What would you like? Yeah. Look at this little sand crab lollipop. Ammo time. Mmm, so good.